Family, friends, and colleagues of the legendary Walter Cronkite came to celebrate a journalistic giant and a life well lived. Some of the biggest names in television news were there, including his two successors, Katie Couric and Dan Rather. Former colleague Andy Rooney was the first to remember the television news pioneer and couldn't finish what he had planned to say. I just feel so terrible about Walter's death that I can hardly say anything. He's been such a good friend over the years. Please excuse me. His family planned every detail of the traditional service. And while he was considered the most trusted man in America, to his oldest son Chip, he was dad. I loved my dad. I loved him coming home for dinner, so we could talk about that night's program. I loved riding my bike to meet him in the summer when he drove home to the country house. The Cronkite family has been deeply connected to St. Bartholomew's Church for decades. His three children attended Sunday school here, and his wife Betsy's funeral was held here back in 2005. The Navy hymn was played in honor of Cronkite's passion for sailing, and he loved New Orleans jazz. So the family chose when the Saints go marching in to close the service for a man who told Americans the way it was through even the most turbulent of times. Karen Brown, CBS News, New York.